So way back when you learned how to solve two-step equations, this isn't much different to that. We're just bringing in all of this unit circle, standard triangle stuff that we've learned as well. So we're going to solve this, uh, simplify this as much as we can. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. That's going to be uh, 6 minus 4 is 2. So now we have negative 2 sine theta equals 2. And now I can divide by that negative 2. And I can say that sine theta equals 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. Now, that question is now sine theta equals negative 1 between negative 3 pi and less than or equal to 3 pi on 2. And from here, it's the same as any other question we've done. We draw a unit circle. And then we say to ourselves, okay, what does theta need to be for that to be negative 1? You look at your standard triangles, and then you realize, actually, standard triangles don't help here because negative 1 isn't one of those angles. It's actually a boundary angle. Now, remember, this is our dot, cos theta, sine theta. Sine theta is the y-coordinate of our dot. So the way that we get a y-coordinate of, of negative 1 is to put our dot down here. So, that means that our angle is right about there. And I'm not going to bother talking about reference angles. I've drawn in my picture, and now that I've drawn in my picture, I'm just going to move through my bounds and see what happens. So, first I'm going to do the negative part, 0 to negative 3 pi. So, starting here, I move around, and I hit my mark first time around. Boom, boom. So, one of my first answers here is negative pi on 2, negative 90 degrees. And then I keep moving around because it's negative 3 pi, so I need to move the whole way around the circle, that's negative 2 pi, and then another half a circle. So then I hit it for a second time. So that's, um, what is it, pi on 2, 2 pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, 4 pi on 2, 5 pi on 2, negative 5 pi on 2. And I've done that answer twice now. Now I need to do the positive version here. So I'm going from 0 to 3 pi on 2. So I'm starting at 0, and I'm going around, and I'm getting to 3 pi on 2, and that's one of my answers in this example. But if I had have done something sneaky and just rubbed this bit out, Well, now that says that we're moving between theta and less than 3 pi and 2. So my answer can't be 3 pi and 2 because it's less than. So at the moment, my answer's wrong. But if I add these back in, my answer is right. So you just need to be really careful when you're looking at those boundaries, particularly when we're looking at boundary angles. Am I looking at a less than or equal to, or am I looking at a less than? All right, three answers there. Again, if I was being pedantic, I'd probably swap those around uh, just so that they're in um, the correct order. But that is how you solve unknown angles in trig equations. You simplify them, and then you work through them.